While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. So you said y'all boyfriend and girlfriend, right? All right. Now I got a question for you. Do you think God approves a boyfriend or girlfriend or husband and wife? Husband. You got to become one to become another, right? You can't just marry y'all. Uh, I. We can show you what you're supposed to become first before you become husband and wife. So me saying, me being a, a little bit older, I'm only 32 now, not much older than y'all. I'm trying to let y'all know what y'all could actually do so this thing can be sustainable That's forever. Right. That's Cause right. Because some people may not end up like us uh, coming into the Bible and understanding that you actually have to get married. You're not supposed to do certain no, things. Okay. All right, give me Hebrews. No, nah, give me Hebrews 13 and 4 real quick. Let's see what God thinks about girlfriend and boyfriend. Read. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Now, I'm going to have them read it again. And like I said, we're bringing these things out to help both of y'all, to actually inspire you. So you can show her the vision to inspire her because maybe she may hear something like, dang, they, they actually right. We need, to, we need to really make this thing official. Because boyfriend and girlfriend, that's, not, that's actually not official. You're not, you, don't have, you don't have any actual ties. If you die, whatever job you got, whatever, you can, don't nothing go to her. And you, you love her, right? All right. Read that again. Marriage is honorable in all. So God said marriage is honorable in all. That is a honorable thing to get married. Uh, you Did you have both of your parents in your life? Were they married? They still married? Okay, that's good. That's an honorable thing. That's right. You don't see a lot of black brothers and sisters, a lot of Hispanic brothers and sisters that are married. How old are your parents? Okay, so yeah, they they've been they must have been what married since you were, before you were born since you were. Since I was, they've been married since they were uh, nineteen and twenty-two. Nineteen and twenty-two, so that is a good thing, and you know what that did? That influence of them getting married, that is a good influence for you. You're That's supposed right. to follow in that footsteps, and we gonna touch on the like you you brought up what's the process before marriage, then right? If it ain't boyfriend or girlfriend. So God said that is a honorable thing to be married. But tell me if I'm lying. Ain't we like the only group of people that teach each other, uh, our sisters, you don't need no man. Or teach a man how to be a player and sleep around. We the only people that do that. And that's actually sin. And we're going to show you right right here. Even, even boyfriend and girlfriend is sin. That's why we trying to... Like I said, inspire to for y'all to make the right decision. And if it's right, take that next step. All right, read. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. So that's if y'all married, what y'all doing, y'all bedroom, that's right between, here, that's, that's, that's it's not, slavery. it's no sin behind that because y'all married. Now, come obviously, come on, come on, there are certain things you're not supposed to do, like involve body. others that's and, the you know, in between that. that. But what y'all do between y'all, that's, that's an honorable thing because you're married. But guess what? If you're not married, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Read that again. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. You hear that, Marshawn? He said whoremongers and adulterers. Those are people that actually have sex without being married. You got a question, sis? You hear me? That's, that's people that have sex without being married. That is a whoremonger and adulterer. Now... Before we came into the realization of this Bible, knowing that it's wrong, I'm I'm pretty sure quite a bit of us was in that life. But once we heard this scripture, if we wasn't already married, because I was married before I came into this, 
if we wasn't already married, we took that step to get married. You know, you got some brothers that wasn't involved in it at all and made sure they took the proper steps according to this before they got married. That's right. So if God a judge you, remember, we brought up we brought up the scripture, sin is the wager of death, right? How do some people die from sleeping outside of marriage? Now, I'm saying, like, how do they actually die? Like, what do you, what are the consequences? Let's say if I'm a whoremonger, right? I'm sleeping with a bunch of girls. Without, and I, you know, just sleeping with women after women after women. What are the consequences of that? Catching, yep. Diabetes, you just die. Catching, catching, catching all type of STDs, AIDS. You heard of Easy E before? He would still be alive if he is keeping this commandment. He'll still be alive. You've heard of plenty of people uh, dying from AIDS. And not just that, you could be messing around sleeping with somebody else woman. And a man find out, you know how some brothers get about their women. Come back, kill you. It ain't just it ain't just STDs. It leads to other avenues of death. So you got to be mindful of that. So I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all already dealt with each other, right? I want to, I'm trying to keep it PG because it's kids around. Right. Let's get uh, that in Exodus. Let's get that in Exodus because the Bible, I'm telling you, everything that we, everything that we do uh, within our life, God has a answer for it. And everything that we deal with, there's a proper way to deal with it. According to the Bible, read. The book of Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. Hold on, read that again. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed. So you the man. It says if a man uh if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed. I'm pretty sure when y'all met, she wasn't with nobody, you know, and she probably seen you like, hey, this is a handsome brother. You know how sisters are you know you probably enticing to her read that again and if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed read. and lie with her so y'all came together read he shall surely endow her to be his wife so you shall surely endow her to be your wife That's according right. to the scriptures according to god and according to the creator of everything you see, the person that, the, I'm sorry, the being that decides whether you live or die or wake up in the morning, he up. stated that if you lie with a sister, you got to endow her to be your wife. Yes, you right, actually, right. Uh, you, huh? So I got a question for you, because I'm pretty sure she's done been, she's been mad at you before, right? And y'all love each other. Have you ever had God be mad at you before? Bring it out. You were, hey, I'm going to tell you this. If God get mad at you, it ain't something that you can talk him out of. Or uh, Let's get that. Nobody can deliver uh, from my hand. Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make a lot. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Read that again. Be I'm going to have him. I, I want you to listen to this because this is the type of God that we deal with and we don't know because God is a real being. That's right. You know, he has rules and regulations just like your parents did. If you broke your parents' rules and regulations, there is a consequence to it, right? When you were a kid. But Even no. now, it's still a consequence. God is the same way, Marshawn. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. So God kills, and he makes alive. A lot of people don't think that these deaths uh, aren't a part of God's hand. But God is telling you here, he kills, and he makes alive. He decides whether you're going to live or die. Bring it out. Read. I wound, and I heal. So he wounds, and he heals. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. 
neither nobody we can't we can't even deliver you out of God's hand uh your your girl can't deliver you out of God's hand once you in those clutches bring it out go ahead let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28 real quick I want you to listen real quick um have you ever heard of the Israelites before yeah, yeah. what you know about them I think you may be referring to Israelis, but in fact, Marshawn, you're an Israelite. That's you're right. actually one of God's chosen people. That's I, right. We can back it up with his, uh, the Bible, of course, first and foremost, back it up with all type of facts. And because you're one of God's chosen people, this Bible actually belongs to you. That's right. It belongs to your girl. It belongs to the sister. It belongs to our Hispanic and Native American brothers that are out here too. All our brothers and sisters, it belongs to us. I want to show you something real quick because we didn't keep the commandments of God. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So in Deuteronomy, Moses was speaking to the Israelites, all the children of Israel, when we came from out of Egypt. He had a message from God. I want to read you that message. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So... Read it. We're going to read it slow, and I want to explain it to you. And I got some questions for you as well, because we, we definitely want to hear uh, what our people got to say. Read. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses said, this will happen in the future. You listen to this? Because I need you to listen too. This will happen in the future if we will not listen to God if we will not listen to our father yes, all right so if we didn't least listen to God and keep all his commandments all of them because I know you ain't out here killing nobody you look like an upkept brother you ain't out here smelling from nobody you don't well you smoke black and mouth that's not good that's poison to your body and you're destroying your temple I, I want to touch on that too uh, but you're not committing heinous crimes but god just didn't say the uh just the few sins he said all his commandments we have to keep one of them being marriage read that i command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee so because we didn't keep god's commandments it said all these curses will come upon thee and overtake thee. They will come upon the black, Hispanic, and Native American man and overtake them. Yes, I got a question for you. You live in Chicago? Um, are our people, are we, are we at the bottom of society or at the top? I'm talking about as a collector. Uh, you said at, at the bottom, is curse a good thing or a bad thing? Is, it's a bad thing. What you think? What you think, sis? Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Let's see what curses we would go through as a people. Curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. It said, curse shalt thou be in the city. So in the city of Chicago, who's getting shot down in the streets? Yep. Uh, uh, percentage wise who's on drugs mostly Black people. who fails up the jail cells Black uh, who's on welfare Black uh, we got this whole <laughs> you know and I'm gonna touch on it this whole Roe versus Wade thing going on right who's uh, who fell victim of a lot of that since the 1980s I think, Black people right I think a lot of black people wake up 
you know. Yeah. No, they are. But I'm just saying those curses fit us. Yeah. All right. Those curses fit us and us only. But we went through those curses because we were not keeping God's commandments. That's right. We will continue to be a cursed people because we're not keeping God's commandments, because we're not getting married, because we celebrating uh, customs that don't belong to us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.